It has become abundantly clear through this present dispute that Sikhs in Canada carry political clout way out of proportion to their numbers. They are punching well above their weight. This has surfaced now, but it's been building up for a while or has been built up for a while. There's more cohesion, I would say, politically among the Sikh community and, and more um, conscious uh, mobilization around politics uh, it, within the uh, Sikh Indo-Canadian community than it, there is among uh, the Muslim Indo-Canadians, definitely among the Muslims and also among the Hindus. The Hindu community, I don't think, has been certainly as cohesive. And that's, uh, that's common with a lot of different religious uh, orientations. Canada has about 770,000 Sikhs, which is close to 2% of the population. The first Sikh was elected to parliament in 1993. There are now 15 Sikh MPs, which is more than 4% of the number of MPs in parliament. So twice as much as the proportion in the general population. That propulsion into parliament goes with a high voter turnout among Sikhs. I have seen numbers that indicate the Sikh uh, community can be very effective in mobilizing votes. The thing is that there aren't many that many constituencies in which Indo-Canadians or Sikhs are majority of the population. So you have many factors at work. Sikhs have been funding their candidates very actively. I've seen that uh, like Jagmeet Singh, who's the leader of the New Democratic Party, uh, he became leader, and I was very struck by how much of the fundraising he had were from large numbers of small donations from people whose names were either Singh or Kaur. Sikhs are very much more a part of Trudeau's Liberal Party than any other. Twelve of the 15 Sikhs in Parliament are from the Liberal Party, and one other is Jagmeet Singh, who heads the New Democratic Party, with whose support Trudeau runs his minority government. The numbers do speak out loud. Not only is the Liberal Party headed by Trudeau as Prime Minister very much more inclusive of Sikhs, the fact is that Trudeau cannot run his government without the support of Jagmeet Singh, who has backed him very actively in the face of With India. The political energy displayed by the Sikhs in Canada has not been matched by the Hindus or by any other religious group. The Hindu population of Canada is about 820,000, so about 50,000 more than the Sikh population, but with very little voice in Canadian politics. Not a lot of Hindus have stepped into politics and those who have sought to become candidates have been targeted very actively by Khalistanis. These conflicts have heightened tangibly since the killing of Niger, but the issue of a so-called Khalistan is still not a mainstream federal issue in Canada. Uh, the issue that has been roiling uh, Canadian-Indian relations is uh, the issue of whether um, support for a separate state in, in Punjab uh, is not really a, an issue uh, at in federal politics. There have been people uh, and, and uh, who have demonstrated, and we've had politicians appear at some of these demonstrations, but not because they were there in support of a separate state, but because somebody raised a banner while they were there. And now that's become more contentious. But uh, uh, I would, it's not a major issue in Canadian politics. It is, it is within the Sikh community, and now, of course, in the broader Indo-Canadian community. No politician that I have heard has spoken in favor of a, a separate state. What I have heard is a defense of uh, uh, if, uh, free speech. In, indeed, we have a separatist party in Canada, and until earlier this week, the Speaker of Parliament for a week was a separatist a Quebec separatist, and it's the third largest party in the House of Commons. It's a very diverse society, and like the Indo-Canadian community, it is also diverse.